Today I'm going to talk with you all about the blues. Okay, it's my favorite form. It's an unbelievable form of music. It is uh, many things at once. It's, it's simple and it's complex. So we're going to focus on the simple side, but I'm going to give you a little taste of what the complexity is. It is a, uh, it's a scale. That's, that's what we used to play when we first started off. It can be an even simpler scale. That's the one that I like. It's a sound. It's the sound of the blues. Sounds like somebody moaning and crying. Do be do 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 de bo do 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 do. It's melodies. It's a rhythm. It's many things. Now the first way we're going to learn about the blues is through the sound of the train. So if you listen to this, this is called the old train shuffle. And the first thing we're going to talk about is what a train does. The train is built for motion. It takes you from one place to another place. So the first step of us learning the blues is to figure out what is a shuffle rhythm. So shuffles come from marches and waltzes. So if we have a march, it's going. It's a very, very stiff rhythm. Now if we add to this the feeling of a, of a triplet, like a trumpet would play. very stiff. Now when we put the two together, we get the shuffle rhythm. So it's a combination of four and, and six. So it sounds like this. So I want y'all to try to do that. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. It's akin to Irish jig and to motions of music all over the world. So that's a good way for us to practice our introduction to the blues is learn how to play that shuffle. Ding, 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 ding. Now we've heard it our entire lives as just a basic rock and roll bass line. That's the first thing for us to learn about. The train is the shuffle, shuffle, shuffle pattern and the feeling of the blues. Now at the top, we have the melody part. So what does that train do? It blows a whistle. The, the, the song part of the blues is that train whistle and the dance part is the shuffle and now it's the second the thing that we're going to talk about with the blues is playing we play the blues we play with the blues so when we start to play this shuffle rhythm we have our basic kind of march shuffle feel then we start to play with it And so forth. We just play around with it. Okay, we heard about the train, we learned about the scale. Now let's talk about melodies and, and, and listening. The best thing to do if you want to learn how to play blues is listen to blues songs and imitate 
melodies. It was a time we used to learn with the scale first, but you could play up and down this scale forever and never come up with a melody. You could... One good melody is worth a thousand scales. So I suggest listen to different people. The best place to start is W.C. Handy, the father of the blues. Learn some of W.C. Handy's music and it'll, it'll, it'll start you on the right path. A good example of, of a basic blues song uh, is a... Uh, that kind of thing get you started with understanding what the feeling of melodies are with the blues. Now we're gonna learn and talk about the blues as a form. This could be a little more complex, but I told you in the beginning, the blues is complexity and simplicity. So the blues, the traditional kind of basic blues that we settled on has a 12 bar form. We count the bars like this. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Now I'm gonna give you ways to, to understand this form and understand the perfect symmetry of this form. The blues travels through three chords. Here's the first chord, we call it the one chord. In the key of B flat, that's one. Now it is gonna travel to the four chord. Now we, those of us who know about music know that we call the four one cadence and amen cadence, like in church you hear. So the blues is going to start in the one chord, and it's going to travel to the four chord. And from the four chord, it's going to travel back to the one chord. Now there's only one other chord we need to know, and that is the five chord. So the blues goes one to four to one. Then it goes to the five chord. Now, normally five will lead right to one, but in the case of the blues, five goes down to four. Then it goes to one. So those are the only chords you need to know. One, five, and four. And those happen to be the three fundamental intervals in our Western system. Pythagoras discovered these uh, intervallic relationships long ago. And... Uh, when you learn Western harmony, the first chords you learn are one, four, and five. It's the only chords of the, of the fundamental blues. Now let's learn how to count it and hear it. Okay, we're going to start with four, four bars of the one chord. Two. Three. Four. Okay, that's the first section. So if you remember, the first section of the blues has one chord. And that chord is the one chord. Now, we go from that to the second section. The second section of the blues has two chords. The four, the four chord. Okay, let's say that again. The four, four chord for two bars. One. for two bars. Let's put that together and I'm going to count off the measures. So here's the, the top of the blues form. One, two, three, four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, So now through these eight bars, we've traveled through these chords. One chord, four chord. Now, first section of the blues has one chord. That's the, the one chord. The second section, you have two chords to know. The four chord back to the one chord. Now the third section has three chords. The five chord to the four chord to the one chord. Let's see how that sounds. This is the third section of the blues. That's, that concludes one chorus of blues. Now, let's do it. I'm going to count 12 bars, and you'll be able to hear what one chorus of blues sounds like. One. Two. Three.
at the top. Okay, we've covered a lot of information. We talked about the sound of the train. We talked about the shuffle. We talked about melodies. We touched on the blues scale. We, now we've, t t t we've talked about the 12 bars of the, the blues. Now we're gonna talk about how to make, create melodies through imitation. So I'm gonna play something and I'm gonna sing over it. And I want you to hear, when I, when, I, when I play it, if you have your instrument, I want you to try to imitate it. Uh, if not, you can just sing along with me. I'm going to play a phrase on the choruses of the blues, and then I want you all to, to sing along with it. Okay? Let's see if we can get our, get, our, get our thing where you can hear what this is. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it. Do -de -do. You play that? Do de do de do de do do do. That's you. I say, do 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 do. Do de do de do. De de do de do do de. Now a little more complex. Do bo de de. Lo di di di, this is you. Now I'ma say, lo di 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 lo do di di do, this is you. Lo bi di do di. After we got started, so that is that is a, a uh, way to learn melodies through imitation. Now let's talk about something else. We're going to talk about the words of the blues and what they mean. Now there are many different types of blueses, so it, it doesn't fall into one thing. But just as, just to generalize and give you a, a basic example of the blues, you play the blues, you stomp the blues, you clap the blues, and dance, and all the things you do with the blues to make yourself feel better. In this time of COVID, the blues is like a vaccine. You give yourself a little bit of what's going to come to you, and it makes you feel better about it, and you can fight it off when it's, when it's with you. So let's take a uh, blues basically has three stanzas in a chorus. I showed you all the three sections. So what are the three stanzas? In general, the stanzas will have uh, two, two, two stanzas will repeat, and the third will give some type of resolution. So I'll, I'll make up. Three stanzas, and I'll give you an example. You say, I got my blues in the morning. I got my blues at night. Now, I'm going to repeat this. I got my blues in the morning. I got my blues at night. Now, I'm going to resolve it. I sing my blues all day. I know it's going to be right. So you see, I give two. I got my blues in the morning. I got my blues at night. Then I sing another one. I got my blues in the morning. I got my blues at night. Then the third one, I say, I sing my blues all day. It makes me feel all right. That's it. I sing my blues all day. It makes me feel all right. I know it's going to be all right. I know everything is going to work out in some kind of way. I'm not playing blues to feel worse about, I'm not playing blues to feel worse. See, that's the blues calling me right here. I'm not playing the blues to feel worse about my condition. Now, I'm gonna show y'all another little basic exercise. And this helps with the blues. You can actually tape record yourself singing it and answer yourself. And this is going to, this is gonna, gonna, gonna help you to, uh, to, to, to work on call and response. 
Because the thing about singing on these stanzas is in the blues, you actually have more space for responding than you do for calling. So it's a very democratic form in that way. So I tell you, I sing something to you, and then I want to hear you respond to it. So if my tape, if my thing work, I want you to listen to how I, I respond to myself. It's a good exercise for you all uh, to work on your blues. I got my blues in the morning. I got the blues at night. I got the blues in the morning. I got the blues at night. I sing the blues all day. another way for you to work on your blues you 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 sing it on to the form and then you make up these things now i'm going to end what i'm what i'm what i'm showing y'all by talking about how to make vocal sounds when you play with the blues i want you to work on this sound <laughs> different things with the notes. Sometimes you can growl and hum and buzz. You can make that kind of sound. So it sounds like. For my, for my string players, y'all can do all kind of scraping and scratching and do, do all different things. But the main thing you can do really on string instruments is you can bend notes. You, you can slide around on a note. So when you play a phrase, different ways to moan and laugh and cry these notes. And when you get those things together, then you're going to be playing the blues. Okay, let's do a quick recap of things that we talked about. We said the blues was a form. It's, the blues is a feeling. The blues is a, a sound. It's a system of melodies. We talked about the blues as a rhythm, the shuffle rhythm. We talked about the train. And we said that the blues is uh, the, the shuffle, chung, 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 and it's the train whistle. Wow! We learned about the, th the three basic chords of the blues, the one, the four, and the five chord. We learned about the, the, the overall 12-bar form of the blues, like the 12 months of the year, a dozen eggs. So many things have 12 signs of the zodiac. So we learned that there's one chord in the first section, two chords in the second, and three chords in the third section. We went through one moves to four chord, goes back to one chord, goes to five chord, four chord, one chord. We talked about... Uh, that blues scale, we talked about the need to listen to the blues. We referenced W.C. Handy, and we talked about how we needed to have an understanding of the sound of something and not just to learn it through scales. We talked about call and response. We learned the three stanzas of the blues, and we said that the first two stanzas generally tell you something uh, very bad that's going on, and the third stanza resolves it. Then we talked about the fact that the blues leaves more room for response than for call. And finally, we ended up talking about creating, uh, we created, create melodies through imitation, and then how to create these vocal sounds on string instruments, on brass instruments. You just got to sit down and moan and, and make all these different sounds you want to make and then do them on your instrument. I hope these things help you in your pursuit of the blues, and I look forward to hearing you play. It's been a pleasure talking with y'all, and I hope you took something of value away from this. Thank you very much. There you go.